the miracle of ICT mm -hmm. is that that's the only profession in the world today mm -hmm. that can make the child of a poor man the richest man in the world. Leo Stan Eke has built a lot of things, but perhaps foremost on his mind is a vision for the future of his country, Nigeria. Eke is founder and chairman of the Xenox Group, a technology company in West Africa. Among his many tech ventures, Eke builds computers for a country he wants to push forward. We came with a computer with a surge protector because of the power system, power challenge in this country. We have 14 offices nationwide. So we are closest to the people. Xenox are sold in every local government, every town in this country. The call center is 24 hours. It's a brand for Nigeria, global standard, but specific to Nigeria. Eke envisions a technological future filled with opportunities for young people. And he thinks Xenox can play a role. The challenge they have, okay, they're in a closed community that the, that, that the standard is very poor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they cannot exhibit that intellectual strength. Okay, so they are seen as defeated. And a lot of these guys are unemployed. Nigeria is already embracing technology through tech hubs. He says with the right kind of investments in young people, they can thrive. So today, if you give them platform, which is not expensive, this country will produce a minimum of 10 billionaires. 60% of Nigerians are younger than 25, and Eke says young people want to be part of a new tech economy. Eke says Xenox employs 1,800 Nigerians, is building digital training centers and hubs around the country, and invests in tech startups. And he gives inspirational talks to encourage young people. 90% of youth today want to go into trending profession, lifestyle profession, and that is technology. 